14 seconds. Go. Go. Exactly. <laughs> Hi. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Best interview of the day. Wait, well, sorry. What was the appeal for this project for you? Um, it was something that I had never done before. Um, my character is has a uh, fetish, you could say, with having power over people and being able to control other people. He finds that to be quite the turn on. So yeah. He's, he's definitely the villain. No, he's a good guy. <laughs> and the mermaid. No. <laughs> he, um, yeah, no, he is the he is the bad guy. And he, uh, yeah, he represents a, a very dark side of, of masculinity that, uh, you know, unrepressed type of, yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, uh, people love um, playing villains, actors love playing villains. Is that the case in your... Oh yeah, this character. good guys are so boring. <laughs> I mean, it, I'm, I literally I get bored by myself when I have to play a good guy. This is just like you know you have you have to be very you have to abide by a very certain set of rules and you have to like be like blah, 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 blah. bad guys though. It's just like your imagination. It's like how far can you go with it? How you know you have unlimited freedom, and that is that's far more enjoyable for me. <laughs> so, yeah. so how did you prepare for their role? I didn't have to. I was born that way. <laughs> Power over people. That was my <laughs> fetish. Um, no, prepare, I mean, because he's a cop, and so there was there was a little preparation, I guess, with that, but it was really just exploring the relationship that I had with uh, Jack Kilmer, and and I don't know, he's a very easy kid to fall in love with. And so I just kind of used that and then layered on some bravado. As, as much bravado as I could muster. Any other questions? Is, is, this, is this your first? Uh, well, I don't know what time. Is, is, this, is this your first time at No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just I was here for Burlap. No, I was here for Twilight. And that was, I was... I'm trying to, it was such a blur then, because I mean, even before I got here, I had no idea that I was even, like, I just thought I was like, oh, just one of the, and then once I walked in, I saw, like, the uh, the billboards of, like, the three of bad guys, or the three, what are they called, baddies, or something like that, uh, I was like, holy shit, this is legit, so we're like, this. I'm like, in the movie movie. Yeah, yeah I, I think no as a, I think from what I remember, Twilight actually changed like the it, whole yeah, thing. it changed oh, right. the it completely for sure. yeah. changed. I mean, it and then we do like the fucking the panel. I yeah, like, uh huh. Sixty five like, hundred people. You're like, oh yeah, ah. I was out of, like I have not been preparing for this. <laughs> yeah, that was a wild experience. Well, Jack mentioned you got to see Catherine again. I did. I yeah. ran her in the hallway. Yeah. And I, I, I've gotten to work with her a few other times, and so yeah, it was good to see her. But to reconnect here again. I know, randomly, yeah. Kind of I think she was. I think she was even doing a Twilight panel, which I wasn't invited to. So whatever. Thanks, Catherine. <laughs> Where are they? She probably right? knew you were busy. Yes. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what it was. That's what I'll tell myself. Um, are you looking forward to more Comic Con, or what part of Comic Con do you like the best? I want to go walk the floor. I think it's like a, I, I did that right after the panel on Twilight. They let us walk the floor. It's very cool. It's like a once in a lifetime kind of opportunity. So I want to go do that. Uh, I was just at the IMDb boat. Mm -hmm. That was new. Um, yeah. I want to walk the floor. Good. Good. I mean, I don't have a, I don't have a costume, but whatever. <laughs> um... I think his, because I can play bad guys, but there was just like a, he was a, on top of being a bad guy, he was just like a very lonely guy. And it was a very, you could almost pity him until he opens his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he was, a, it was a different kind of character that I've gotten to have the chance to do before. So, yeah. Okay, one last question. Do you believe in mythical creatures and you do, which is your favorite? Oh my gosh, Bigfoot. Oh, <laughs> nice. Thank you. We've got two vampires, so I'm glad that you guys are here. I can tell you, vampires are not real. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't say that. 
<laughs> Sorry, Twilight. <laughs> I love you guys. I love Twilight. Um, yeah, Bigfoot. My son has had a had a weird fascination with big, Bigfoot since he was two years old. Nice. So if I could just show him the real Bigfoot, we'd be good. We can move on. Have you seen the old 80s movie, Harry and the Hendersons? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> That's a good one. It's really good. Yeah, I remember my parents showing me that when I was in, I grew up in the Northwest. And uh, yeah, so when I got to show my kids that, it was pretty cool. That's awesome.